guys, welcome back to Barry Tutorial Video Series. Uh, previously, we have created many videos that was helpful for many of our users. So we decided to come up with few more videos that can be helpful uh, instead of watching this documentation. Uh, user can refer videos anytime. So we are here again. Uh, today, we are going to understand the authentication. Uh, for some of our users, it's been a request from them that you should, you guys need to create a videos that how your authentication works, uh, how you guys manage authentication in your application. So like we have three authentication, Firebase, Auth0 and JWT. So what is the structure of the authentication, how they can change it, how they can modify the Firebase calls, how they can switch to Auth0 or JWT. So today we are going to cover that part. Initially, uh, I'm going to explain that what are the structure of the authentication, and then I'll move on to the Firebase, that how uh, Firebase is working in a current application. Uh, by default, Firebase is a provided and working flow in a Barry, but user can switch to O0 and then JWP as well. So I'll walk through all three things uh, today itself, and. Yeah, we'll see it, uh, how it works. So let's begin. Um, so let me jump into the core. So talk, to talk about the structure of the authentication, uh, we have created a context, each of the three contexts for each of the three providers like Auth0 context, Firebase context, and JWT context. This context is being injected to uh, specific, uh, for specific components or specific root level so that it can be accessible everywhere. I'll come into more detail for this uh, internal coding structure, but let me walk to other parts. Uh, then uh, to read those methods from the context and access those contexts, uh, like uh, update profile, reset password, or whatever things we are going, we are providing here, like Firebase registered Firebase Google signing. That can be uh, accessible using the uh, hook, which is use auth. User can set, uh, user can read it from this um, uh, hook. And then we we have injected those, those Firebase provider or whatever providers in our system, like Firebase, AWT, and Auth0 contacts here. Uh, before the roots, so that is being wrapped between the uh, roots and snack bar has been wrapped between the Firebase provider. So whatever roots are there in the application, they can access this Firebase provider context. Uh, one more thing, whenever we set this provider, um, we are using uh, some API, some client keys, some license keys, whatever things are required for different providers, like for the Firebase, we need a couple of things, uh, for instance, uh, API and then secret and kind of that thing. So that is being managed here in the config.ts file. Uh, for the Firebase, we have a separate JSON object. For the auth, we have separate JSON. And for the JWT, we have a uh, separate JSON. So this is the real values at this point. You should not use these values in your live application. It is not recommended. Uh, you must uh, need to change these values while you are working on this part. Uh, and you deploy this to the production. So the provider or context will get values from here itself so that it can be in working flow. So yeah, this is the structure for the authentication and then how this entire things will be rendered on the UI. So inside the view, we have uh, pages and then authentication. By default, authentication three will be rendered on the UI, but we provided total three authentication um, uh, UI designs. So to, they all are the different UI designs. User can choose any one of them. But uh, when when you saw in the live environment the demo, that is authentication three. Um, all the authentication one, two, three authentication designs uh, use the auth forms. So all these forms like auth login, auth register, reset password, those forms is being used inside all three uh, designs. And then we have login and register. We have separated out here. These are the components, but we haven't saved it as a components. Uh, we have saved it as auth zero login, and it's a plain text file. We have kept it here. Uh, I'll come into bit when. Uh, 
I'll explain the Firebase authentication or other authentication that why we kept these things uh, for easiness. It will be super easy to understand this flow and it's just copy and paste thing to from switch to uh, Firebase to JWT or auth. So let's begin by running the application. Um, I'll start the application. Okay. And I'll just wait for uh, compilation. Okay, so it's running now. I'll just uh, jump onto the dashboard itself directly. So if I go to the dashboard, as I'm not already logged in, uh, it will redirect me to the login. Oh, I'm already logged in, so it will direct me to the dashboard. But let me do log out. Okay, I'll do log out. As I mentioned, we are using Firebase as the default. So you will see this in the login screen. So here is sign in with Google and this email ID password and the sign in uh, thing. If I don't have an account, I can click on the register and then it will navigate me to the uh, sign up with Google and a uh, username password flow. So I'll just go back to the uh, login again and I'll walk through the flow. So here in the app.tsx, we provided the Firebase as a uh, context, so that will be accessible through entire application. So when I logged in, uh, uh, when I launched the application, as I mentioned, the authentication tree is being used as a default authentication UI design. User can switch to other two UI design if you want. Let me show what are those UI designs here for a moment. So if I just sign in, and if one want to see other two uh, designs, then we can do it easily. Yeah. So close here inside the authentication. We have a three flow. This is auth one. You can see uh, when I click on the login, it has a different flow. Um, than the authentication tree UI. Oops, pop up this block. So then, let me click again. Yeah. This is how the design is different from the uh, authentication three. If I show the authentication two, yeah, this is what the design is. So this is login one, this is login two, different in a design. And if I log out, I do log out, that will be a authentication three. Yeah, this is authentication three. Two, one, and three, which is by default. So coming back to code. Okay, we have after TSX Firebase provider injected as a uh, for entire application, then we have a, a use auth hook. And if you see that hook is being referenced here. So if I go above, we are using here use auth. And I'm just using Firebase email password sign in and Firebase Google sign in. So both of them are being implemented here. For the register, <clears throat> Again, the uh, same hook is being used, but at this time it's Firebase register and Firebase Google sign in. So I can uh, log in with Firebase Google and I can log in with Firebase register as well. So these two are different. With the register, if I can show you, if I go to register and if I do something like here, press that and press dot com let me copy it and password to be five six I'll do sign up 
Yeah, it's just logged in because the use uh, registration has been successful. But if I came back to Okay. Oops, what was the password? Okay. Yes, it does allow me to change the path has been uh, updated to the dashboard default and it will redirect to the login, uh, redirect to the dashboard default. Okay, now we saw that how uh, Firebase is working. The same can be done using here is, uh, with as well. So if I do sign in with Google, uh, it will ask me for uh, Google email ID and password, and then it will do a sign in. The same way you can do uh, explore other methods from Firebase like uh, login with Twitter or login with Facebook or whatever actions uh, um, you want to implement. We are providing uh, currently login with uh, Google itself, but those methods can be explored uh, by checking at the Firebase documentation itself. Okay, I think I hope uh, I cover Firebase thing that how it's working, how the directory is structured for the authentication right now. Now let's move on to the another part, the second part that how one can switch from the Firebase to uh, JWT. Or uh, or zero. So first we'll check with the odd zero that how one can switch to the odd zero. The very first thing one need to do is that he needs to go into the app dot tsx here instead of Firebase provider. He need to use uh, both zero provider. Then change this provider from Firebase. Two or zero. Okay, let me copy. That is the first thing. Second thing is that inside the authentication hook, instead of using Firebase context hook, one need to use O0 context hook. So the methods related to auth context can be accessible everywhere uh, using this hook. Methods and property can be accessible. Uh, that's the second thing, the two things we have done. Now, uh, this is the common forms as I mentioned, this login register and uh, forget password and designs. So for O0 login, we are just opening this login and then O0 login. We will copy this entire content here and then replace with this auth login. So control A, control V. So that is the login part. For the register part, we will do the same. We'll just go to the register folder, do control C, and then replace with control A, control V. Here. Yeah. So that's it. I think uh, now the thing will be worked in uh, auth zero. So if I need to rerun, I believe. Sorry. Okay, so now it's running. Let me go to the dashboard. I should see the logged in with the auth zero. Yep, you can see uh, we are getting different login page here. Auth zero doesn't have any internal uh, uh, Checks like uh, email and password, those needs to be provided from the, uh, uh, we have provided it from the dialog itself. So we, if I click on this part, um, it will just open the dialog. And it's, and it's my local machine, it will not allow. I need to add those URLs into my server, but you'll see uh, login URL and password here. So you can log in from that. Also with the O0, uh, for the sign up as well, we have used the login because the registration for process also uh, can be done from the dialog itself. You can explore other methods from the uh, O0 uh, details like from the context. So,
if I go to uh, zero contacts, I can go to other methods of O zero like here. If you see here, yeah, uh, this is uh, type file DA. There are other methods like build authorization URL, get user, and handle redirection callback and other things. So you can play around with this method. You can also call logout method and other things. Uh, so yeah, so that was from Firebase uh, to JW uh, Auth0. Now we'll see how Firebase to JWT can be done. It's the same process. Um, I'll just uh, it for the Auth0. So first thing, instead of uh, Auth0 here, I'm going to use JWT. So I'll uncomment this use it as a provider here JWT provider. that's the first thing second thing is that I'll set up a hook so instead of this I'll just uncomment this so that is the second thing third thing I'll just replace the auth login uh, with uh, JWT login so if I go to auth login, which is common page for all three UIs, I go to login here, and then from the JWT login, I'll just copy paste the entire thing and replace it here. Same for the registration. Auth zero register control A. That's so let's wait until it compiles. Okay, dashboard. It should show me the login from the JWT instead of R0. So it just have a username and password text field there. User can add password. Yeah, so it's just to fill. Uh, this is already default registered uh, things in my um, store, but if I do register like this, page coordinator, coordinator team, team, coordinator, email, or it's already registered. Let me just do it. And then password. I'll do sign up. Okay, registration has been completed and then we'll go to login. I'll use coded gmail.com and then password and then to sign in. It will work. So JWT is just making an API call. We are not making an actual call to the back end, but it's a dummy API call that we are using. And while uh, using JWT, we are just saving whatever you have registered into the uh, local storage, and that will be verified when you do a login. So yeah, that's as simple as that. We just you just need to copy the code from switching from Firebase to zero or Firebase to JWT. And other than that, uh, we made a very simplified flow for entire structure. You guys just need to manage uh, two files: one context and second is auth. Other than that, these are the common uh, these are the common forms. These are the common forms where uh, the changes has been done. We have provided working flow for uh, auth login and register. Other than that, forward password, code verification, reset password. You need to manage it yourself. We are just providing a basic structure uh, so that you can realize this. Uh, again, this login and register are are the uh, purpose of of these things is to copy and paste. You can just replace these files from the actual forms and then reutilize them. So things are very simple for you. Uh, that's it. Uh, let us know if you have any query. Feel free to revert or generate a ticket if you need some more clarification. Yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye bye.